Good afternoon. Moments ago, the Hamilton County Grand Jury has returned a murder indictment against Raymond Tenzing, who was a University of Cincinnati police officer for the murder of Samuel DeBose. We are going to release the uh, uh, video of this murder here shortly. Um, the office is actively making copies for all of you. I think that's probably the best uh, way to do it. If you have questions of me, you can ask them now, but I will say this. Um, I've been doing this for over 30 years. This is the most asinine act I've ever seen a police officer make. Totally unwarranted. It was, it's an absolute tragedy um, in the year 2015 that anyone would behave in this manner. It was senseless and I met with a family just moments ago. Um, it's just horrible. Yes. Purposeful killing of another. That's what makes it murder. He purposely killed him. And when you say it's asinine and totally unwanted, can you, in your mind, what contributed to a trained police officer doing something that you call asinine? He should never have been a police officer. I mean, I, I work with police every day, and they are some of the best people I know. And he, Mr. DuBose simply didn't follow simple, nonviolent commands. Um, he, he was uh, subdued. The cop had his license plate number. I mean, it, it, was, it was so unnecessary for this to have occurred. And the policemen I know and the investigators that I work with every day, this situation would never have escalated like this. You know, people want to believe that um, Mr. DuBose had done something violent towards the officer. He did not. He did not at all. And I, I feel so sorry for his family and what they lost and um, and I feel sorry for the community too because we've worked so hard to develop great police relationships with the community and to have this type of a senseless act take place in Cincinnati. We don't, this doesn't happen in the United States, okay? This might happen in Afghanistan or somewhere. This just does not happen in the United States. People don't get shot for a traffic stop unless they're violent towards the police officer. And he wasn't. He was slim, he was simply slowly, you're gonna see it. He was simply slowly rolling away. That's all he did. That's true. And and you all have covered me for a long time. And you know that I probably, if this office has probably reviewed upwards of 100 police shootings. And this is the first time that we thought this is, a, this is without question a murder. Yes, Sherry. No, he wasn't dragged. He, no, he fell backwards after he shot him in the head. There have been some comments that perhaps this officer was in over his head making this traffic stop and panicked. Is that in any way, shape, or form 
I think he lost his temper because he wasn't, you know, the, the Mr. DeBose wouldn't get out of his car. I think he lost his temper. And when you see this, you will not believe how quickly he pulls his gun and shoots him in the head. It, it's maybe a second. It's, it's incredible. And so senseless. And, I, and, again, I feel so sorry for his family. Um, and I feel sorry for the community. I, I, this should not happen, ever. He said he was dragged. They're, they're in a very sensitive place right now because of their loss. Um, I, I simply told them we were seeking a murder indictment for what happened. And, you know, I think, I, I believe we can make them available, Julie, is that correct? If they want to talk to you all. Um, have they seen the video? They have. I shared it, yes, some of them. It was horrible. I mean, it's, it's you know, you see your relative get shot in the head. It's horrible. Things are going to be so horrible that the community or the outsiders will look past it and not see the murder and the life of that 18-year-old that was just going to possibly die. Well, I think the... I think that because we acted as rapidly as we could, we returned a murder indictment against a police officer. It was, and keep in mind, this is not Cincinnati. This is the University of Cincinnati. Um, I would hope that people would, as they reflect on this entire situation, realize that we sought justice, which is my job, and did the right thing. And, and you know, when you, when you all see this video, and we're going to play it here for you in a second, and we'll give you copies of it for your, for your use, um, it's, it's just senseless. It is. Didn't have to happen. Yeah, Tom. Good. We're, we're looking at that, John. We're looking at that entire issue right now. We promised the family we would look at that. Um, it is our belief that he was not dragged. Um, I mean, if if you if you slow down this tape, you see what happened. But it's it is um, it is a very very short period of time from when this car just starts slowly rolling that the gun is out and he's shot in the head. I know, I know this is a somewhat exciting phenomenon, but over the last week and a half, there have been so many calls to the Houston Tribune for the repeated common reports about why you insist that this video not be released until now. Is there anything else you can say? It was, a, it was an investigatory technique. I mean, we have a cop who was a target of an investigation, and he was talking. And I didn't want the video to be on television and then have uh, later witnesses and or a targeted defendant couch his testimony around that. So I chose to do that, and you all sued me. So congratulations. And you all lose, too. Okay, so the um, family's attorney yesterday had told me that he didn't think it was an indictment because getting an indictment on a 